for Ooh. playing with the thousand dollars. Two, one. We are all incorrect. You guys are just stupid. What's going on, guys? We are here at the Norco House today. We are going to be playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? We got 25 questions. Whoever can answer most right wins a fat $1,000 today, guys. We're playing with $1,000. I will say it's mostly first and second grade questions when I went and looked up because they get pretty complicated. But here's how it's going to work. We'll read the question. We'll give them about 10, 15 seconds to answer. We'll say flip. They'll flip it to the camera. If they get it right, they get a point. If they get it wrong, they are not smarter than a fifth grader. Is ready to get going? Ready. Do it. Awesome. Question number one. The first Thanksgiving was celebrated by which two groups of people? All right, here we go. We are at five, four, three, two, flip. And we got pilgrims and uh, Indians, Native Americans, pilgrims, Native Americans. I'll count it. Everyone gets one point there. Great Ooh, job. Good cool. work. Okay, so we're pretty smart so far. I like that. Looking good. Question number two. Which object, beginning with the letter Q, did people write with during the Middle Ages? Oh, man. We had some smart people over here. Smarter than me, for sure. I only know a few words that was Q. I'm locked in. And three, two, one. Flip. We we had Kona, the only correct spelling. (laughs) Two (laughs) L's on the quill. (laughs) Everyone getting a point. Kind of, you're, just, you're just better than us. All righty, guys. Are you ready? Ready. Which planet is nicknamed the Red Planet? In five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, Flip. I wrong, I I think, yeah. Oh, it is Mars. Yeah, it, is it is Mars. Mars. It yeah. is not Jupiter. Red planet for its red-like tint. Kona did not Jupiter get that one correct. Mars, All right, guys. I don't know. This one's a little confusing, but we'll do our best. Ready. Including Hawaii and Alaska. Very key. How many states are in the United States of America, including Hawaii and Alaska? Including. Yes. In five, four, three, two, one. Flip. It is 50. <laughs> yes, we were trying to confuse you. <laughs> including <laughs> Hawaii. Question. Nice try there, bud. <laughs> Everyone got a point. It's like we just added them. 52. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Which city is the White House located in? Someone from... Virginia might find this one on the easier side. And three, two, one. Easy. Washington, D.C., which I thought it was more of a state. I don't even know what it is. No, Washington's the state. State of Maryland. No, Washington is a state, but not. It's washing machine. What's (laughs) cranking through this? All right. Mm. Solve the equation. Oh, Oh, man. Four plus three divided by one equals... Three, two, one, flip. It is seven. Yes, you got it. That was uh, I feel like if a fifth grader is struggling on that one, he might need to find a new school. <laughs> all right, I got a good one for you guys. We're going to start getting, try to get a little tougher, all right? Okay. All right what is the primary difference between tap water and ocean water? Do, 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 do. Three, two, one, flip. It is salt, yes. Okay, maybe that one wasn't that tough. In the entire world, what is the longest river? The longest river. In three, two, one. We got Nile, Nile, and Nile. Incorrect, <laughs> all three of you. Nile's the biggest, the longest is the Amazon. Oh, the oh, Amazon yeah. is the longest, the longest going all the way through shoot. Southern America. In the new English alphabet, how many letters are there? Three, two, one, flip. It is 26, not 27. (laughs) Let's go. Yeah, and the question doesn't even say new alphabet. I just added the new part to try to be confusing. (laughs) What causes ocean tides? Five, four, three, two, one, Uh, boom. I have no idea, to be honest, but... Tectonic plates. Not tectonic plates. It's not the wind. It is the moon's gravity. Good job, Kona. Sneaking back in there. You stud. Oh, man, Not the wind, man? Not the wind, no. (laughs) That was a good guess. All righty. Moving on. True or false? Bats are mammals. True or false? Bats are mammals. Oh, wait, I just wrote bats on the... <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be not correct, but... All right, three, two, one, flip. 
It is true. Good job. Let's everybody go. did get that one right. Let's go. Honestly, I thought I was going to get that run wrong. I'm not going to lie. All right, everybody. A gallon of water weighs approximately how many pounds? A gallon of water approximately weighs how many pounds? Oh, we got a stumper. A gallon of water a weighs gallon how many of water. ounces or a pound? <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't that's know. way two different conversions. Yeah, I feel like that's not going to help you All too right, much. We're going to guess here. Yeah, I just... I'm probably so wrong. I'm, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. And three, two, one, flip. Four, four, and two is all incorrect. It is eight, eight pounds. Eight, eight pounds. Yeah, eight pounds That's a gallon of water. Heavy, think, all right, we are going to take a halftime break, which means we need to get a little energy when we look for energy. We look no further than G Fuel, and we all have our favorite flavors with us today. Boom, I'll start. My favorite flavor is uh, my snow cone. It reminds me of my childhood uh, snow cone from the ice cream man. So I got my snow cone. Can't go wrong. Hype sauce, raspberry lemonade, top tier. Pac-Man power pellet. Pac-Man. Nice, flavorful cherry. Yeah. Love it. Radioactive lemonade. Spider-Man. Gotta represent the boy. That's uh, really good. I've been I've been loving that's the lovely. radioactive oh, lemonade. Yeah. It's it's, it's like bubble gum to me. I don't know what it is. Interesting. Really? Smell it. Yeah, yeah, it tastes like the bubble hydration. Gum. One of that is super good. super good too. Mm. Electric, I don't know. I don't think I think you just can't go wrong with lemonade flavors. flavors. Yeah, yeah. lemonade's really good. That's true. Shout out G Phil. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for always hooking us up, keeping us energized, focused, and continuing forward. Hopefully, being smarter than most fourth mm. graders. Thank you, G Phil. And we move on from halftime down the stretch. Right now, we have Kona with nine, Logan with nine, Brad with eight. I don't know how many left. We probably have 11 or 12 left. All right. Ooh. Here we go. Alrighty. Fourth quarter. Who invented the light bulb? Who invented the light bulb? In three, two, one. Flip. It is Thomas Edison. <laughs> Good job, everyone. I think my dyslexia always, I always put Thomas Jefferson or something. Ben Jefferson. Like that. <laughs> ben Franklin. Ben Franklin. Yeah, all of those count. It's, yeah. it's all up in the air. Oh, I'm just thinking man. about Ben Franklin's over there. That's all you think about right now. Yeah, Big Benny over here. Oh, ben yeah. Franklin Boom. invented the kite. Inventor of light bulb right there. All righty, <laughs> guys. Next up, the hardest naturally occurring mineral is. Hardest naturally occurring mineral. Mineral. Oh, is it on the periodic table? In three, oh, no. two, <laughs> one, flip. It is diamonds. Congratulations. Let's go. Everyone got that one All right. Pressure. You guys are not cracking pressure. under pressure. Pressure makes diamonds. It does. All right. The southernmost continent is called. You guys know that one? Yeah, do you want to know what a continent is? Do you want to review? What is a continent? Japan, Russia, North America, <laughs> city of Detroit, <laughs> all city continents. Of Detroit. <laughs> all right. Flipping in three, two, one. It is. Uh, Antarctica, yeah. not Australia. Australia. Oh, oh man. Uh, Logan takes the lead by Ooh. one in the front man. runner Gosh, for a thousand. We are kind of smart over Looking here. Like a grand in your eyes. Alrighty. A famous fault line in California is called what? The famous fault line in California is called what? Bang. <laughs> <laughs> this is on I'll the you smarter hand. than a fifth yeah, grader. Okay, it's bro. also a video game title. <laughs> it's also a movie title. That's true. Oh, thank you for that. Oh welcome. man, I just give away answers over here. You're welcome. And three, two, one. It is the San Andreas Damn. fault. It okay. is not Hollywood <laughs> fault. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, baby. Oh man, it was a good guess. Classic Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. Oh man, what is the capital of New York? Oh man, we got Logan on this one. You thought. Oh. You thought. Oh. You thought. I know, I know. And three, you? two, you? one. Boom! It is Albany. Oh, it is oh, Albany. Albany. I wrote oh. New York. What is the capital of Germany? <sighs> capital of Germany. I mean. Oh boy. Going to give this one to. Uh, yeah, Brad, you better not get Brad. this one wrong, bro. Maybe. Capital of Germany. Uh, I'm. I don't know. In three, two, one, flip. We are all incorrect. <laughs> it is Berlin. Berlin oh, is oh, the wait, capital. No, I'm thinking of. Oh my God. I'm stuck in. <laughs> Dude. My brain. Th whenever I think of Berlin, I think of Belgium for some stupid reason. Yeah, in my Berlin. Head. I don't it's know where the Berlin Wall is. Yep. Which war was fought between the North and South? 
which war was fought between the North and South? I see a lot of thinking caps on right now. Which war was fought between the North and South? We are going um, in five, uh, four. Uh, it's not this one. Three. I forget what it's called. Two. One. We need to do some U.S. history. Flip. Wait, wait. It is the Civil I know it's War. The Civil War. Civil I just wrote War. It quick because the timer in my head. Oh like, no. <laughs> Logan and Kona pulling away with it. Brad, you need to you need to clutch up here on nah, a couple. I'm giving up, bro. Which country is the Taj Mahal located in? The Taj Mahal located in. Yeah, that helped the me. dome. Oh yeah. Can you do that hand motion one more time? Gold dome. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> in three. Wait, oh. What okay. was the question? Where's the Taj Mahal Taj located Mahal. in? Can you use that in a sentence, please? Yes. yes. Where's its origin? Taj Mahal is located in the United States. Cap, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> use it in a sentence. In three, <laughs> two, wrong. one. It is India. India. Taiwan? Uh, at least you guessed something. Capital of Taiwan. Uh, okay. Logan and Brad. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I was going to be pretty far off. I'm not going to lie. Dude, what is this like? What are these questions, bro? I feel targeted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. The mountain range, which includes Mount Everest, is called what? The mountain range that includes Mount Everest is called what? There's only like three mountain ranges you have that you would know of. It's got to be one of them. I watch. I don't, I'm not going to lie. I don't know the mountain ranges that well besides the United States. This I like flatland. Good. You guys fell asleep. Three, three two, one. Logs, let them know. Appalachian? It is not the Appalachian. No. It is not the Mount Everest Island. <laughs> it's it's circle. Circle. <laughs> All right. Maybe it was tougher than I thought. The Himalayas. The Himalayas. The Himalaya Mountain Range. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. Appalachian is in the United States. Appalachian's in the East Coast. Oh, man. We don't know our mountain ranges. No. no. Nope. <laughs> All right. Everest mountains. <laughs> By size, what is the largest country in the world? By size, what is the largest c country in the world? By size. Oh. 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 I'm thinking like a, like a Chile. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking one's a continent and a country. <laughs> oh, I remember what a continent is. Yes. Oh yeah. And in three. Two, one, reveal your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I feel targeted. Uh, Kona, only one correct. It is Russia. Russia is the largest. I had a feeling it was Russia in correct. the world. I was, I was between the two. I was like, my like forehead. Russia? My forehead's big. Could have said anything else, but my so forehead. Big. All right, last couple here, guys. The plural of moose is what? The plural of moose <laughs> is what? Oh, dude, I have so many answers that just popped into my head. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's not that hard. What if I write all of them down? Well, if one if one of them is correct, do I get it right? I think partial credit it could be involved. Yeah, can I do multiple answers? <laughs> <laughs> you have point. You're one behind Logan right now. You should try to get this right. I'm gonna Dude. miss it on purpose. The plural of moose is three, I two, like one, word. flip. Meese, moose, Meese. and moose. It is moose. Moose is moose. the plural of moose. <laughs> Alright, guys, I got the last question question. Woo! Oh. A squared plus B squared plus C squared is known as what? A squared plus B squared plus C squared is known Wait, is as Is it not what? equals C squared? No. That's... No. A yes, you're right. A squared plus B squared equals C squared Gosh. is known as what? Uh, okay. I forget what this formula is for. Uh, Everyone struggling on this? Do you guys want to phone a friend for a clue? <laughs> yeah. Phone a friend for a clue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phone a friend real quick. Does everyone need it? No, no, you're not calling anybody. A plus you can phone me in for a clue. C squared. Yeah. Do you have it, Logan? All right. Okay. So here's your clue. It ends with theorem. Oh, got it. Sure. Thanks, man. Mm. Oh, how do you spell this? <laughs> like this. I don't. Sounds like when you're really <laughs> drunk trying to say a word. Relax. And just, you have to get the spelling right on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I guess we're not doing that. Oh. All right. And three. Two, one, it is the <laughs> Pythang <laughs> theorem. The Pythang. The Pythagorean the the theorem. The Pythagorean the theorem. The Pythag theorem. Uh, <coughs> I don't even. But, uh, <laughs> I will say we have, uh, I think. You're the winner? A three-way tie. I think Logan is up by one, and Ooh. we are one question away, but we are going to give you a riddle. First person to solve it gets two points. Oh. I feel like I've done this one before, so don't ruin it if I've done this one with you guys before. <laughs> 
Do we answer with our, our mouths or the boards? I think you have to slap the table. First person slap gets the answer. And if you're wrong, you get minus a point. So first person slap the G fuel. Sure. Yeah. It's your buzzer. All right. There's an empty pool. There's nobody in it, just water. 20 people jump in, 24 heads come out. How is that possible? Four heads. Oh, Kona gets it right. <laughs> Dude, yeah, 24 just, heads. I saw the glisten off Come the out. Did you really? Oh, good yeah. job. <laughs> Kona. Of course, makes the forehead joke and gets that one. Yeah, that makes sense. Kona, whopping 10 of these. We'll do nine of those. <laughs> we didn't deserve all ten. <laughs> That's crazy. There you there you go. Go. And uh, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, we uh, as should have nine hundred there. Just buy yourself a couple sushi meals. Yeah, dude, thank you. All right, well, we appreciate you watching. Hopefully, you were smarter than us on a fifth grader. I thought overall we did pretty good, although they were mostly first and second grade questions. But um, hey, shout out to G Phil for helping support these videos. We hope you guys enjoyed. We will see you guys next time. This has been the NorCal House playing. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? We are out. Peace. Mm -hmm.